Today you'll learn how to create animation effects in WordPress so the user can see these nice animation scroll down effects. As the user scrolls through the page, your blocks will appear on the page with whatever effect you choose really. So I'm doing this all for free. I'm using Astra to do this at the moment, but you can use Cadence blocks, you can use Bloxy, you can use stackable blocks. Basically any kind of Gutenberg block can be animated onto the page. One really nice effect is this one where your contact form can animate onto the screen, similar to a pop-up, but without actually using a pop-up window. So you avoid any Google penalties for using pop-ups. You don't block your content with a pop-up window and you don't annoy your users with having to make them close a window, but you still get that nice eye-catching effect as the actual contact form loads onto the page with a bit of an animation effect. So this is a really cool way of displaying uh, sign-up forms or subscription forms in that way. Now I know what you're thinking, weren't adding all this stuff to my site slow it down? Well, not really. I actually tested this, it's still getting a high 90s in Google PageSpeed Insights. In fact, it's only added about eight kilobytes of script to the page. So very, very lightweight using this method. So if this sounds interesting, then keep watching. Now to do all this, we're gonna need a plugin. So head over to your plugins in your dashboard. We're gonna to go to add new and you can search for animations. And the one we're gonna to use today is this one called blocks animation, CSS animation for Gutenberg blocks. So go ahead, click install and activate that one. I've already gone ahead and done that. Now I'll show you how to use this plugin. Next step is just to edit a page. So any existing page, we can go over to pages and we've got our list of pages. Let's edit that home page that we saw earlier. So we can click edit there. Now in our page editor, you'll notice that if you click any block here, so I'll click on this heading, you'll notice in the block options here, we've got a tab for animations. Now this will appear for any block we wanna click on, we'll get animation. So in this case, I've got this button and the button fades in up and after 50, uh, 500 milliseconds, it will fade in and it was the default speed. So you can have no delay or up to five second delay on the animation. You can make the speed faster or slower. And there's lots of different effects to choose from. I quite like the fade effect, but uh, we can go through this and I'll show you some of these effects. So you'll notice as you scroll through them, they can come in from different sides of the screen. So bouncing down will bounce in from the top and down onto the screen. The bouncing effect is quite good. I quite like the bouncing effect and the fade effect is quite good. So bouncing and fading, you can come in from any directions. Really nice effects there. And you can change that speed. I think the default speed is a little fast. You can slow it down to be a little bit more subtle as well. Flipping in, like we saw earlier, you can flip in depending on the axis. X axis is like um, across there. So it'll flip in um, top over bottom. Y axis, it'll flip left to right. So you can flip in or out in that way. Rotate in, I didn't quite like rotating as much. Um, sliding was quite cool. Zooming. And there's loads of these other ones. Light speed I quite like, and I quite like the um, the wobble effect as well. But you can go ahead and play with some of these effects. Quite cool. I'll go through that front page again, and I'll show you what I did actually use here. So I'm going to go up and reload this page. So we've got these fade up and fade down on there. This one is a bounce, so it has a little bit of a bounce as it lands on the page. Uh, this one is that x-axis flip. This one here, these all rotate. I've set different delays, so they sort of subtly rotate one after the other onto the screen. I'll show you that again. So these ones rotate first, second, and third. Um, these ones here, they fade in from different directions. That's that light speed effect on the frequently asked question. So you can see it has a bit of a warp. As it comes onto the screen, it flies in, and then it warps back to its normal shape. Um, that's a slide. That's the wobble, the last one there. So th those are the effects I've used, but go ahead, play with some of those effects and see what you enjoy. Now, like I said earlier, I'm using the Astra starter templates, but I've tried this on Cadence blocks. It works really well. I've tried it on Stackable as well. So Stackable actually charges you to um, have animations. But if you use that plugin, you get this effect for free using basically any block builder, which is really cool. Now, another hint for using this is make advantage of that list view you get on Gutenberg. So you've got that list view there. You can go through and make sure that you remember which part of your section you apply the animation effect to because you can get uh, confused sometimes. Do I apply it to the form or the column or the whole group? Um, you just have to figure out where the animation effect sits. So just remember, don't get lost and don't uh, mess things up when you're working with this. In this case, I applied an animation effect to that right column there. And so that actually fades my contact form up onto the screen after half a second. So this is quite a good idea for pop-up um, forms rather than using a pop-up plugin, you can just get a nice subtle animation just to catch the viewer's eye 
with those sign up forms so you might want to make that delay a little bit longer give someone a chance to actually read the heading before that thing pops up and draws their attention away from the content so i think this is a really cool way of adding sort of that pop-up effect without actually using a pop-up window really nice from this plugin as i said earlier i didn't notice any slowdown effect. I still got 98 using this on mobile on just a cheap web host. This is like a uh, $6, $6 Vulture high frequency instance. And if we actually look at our um, static assets here, we can see where are they? Um, there we go. We can actually see our animation scripting in here. So if I search for animation, we can see we've got uh, five kilobytes of CSS there, two kilobytes of JavaScript there, and one kilobyte of... Um, CSS down here. So just eight, eight kilobytes, very, very small, much smaller than a font or an image. Um, adding this in, you can see these images are 10 kilobytes. So less than a typical image to get these cool effects on your page. You won't get really any penalty in terms of slowdown um, when you use this plugin. So really nice, lightweight piece of software. If you're interested in actually getting this hosting and getting these kind of results, I've I'll put my video where I set up this hosting uh, right here so you can get that for yourself if you're interested in setting up that Vulture um, VPS. It's uh, a little bit more technical than most shared web hosting, but the results are worth it like you can see. So check that one out as well. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.